people should join this program because um, it helps people with real life situations in this and it shows them how um, what it really truly means to be a firefighter and what they can actually do and they have experience later on in life and actually become something like this and it shows it gives them the opportunity to be able to choose whether they want to actually do something like this or not. So the most important quality of a firefighter honestly is integrity. We need to be able to do things when we don't want to do them on the days that we don't want to get up we don't want to put on all our gear go out to a fire stuff like that we want to be able to get up do our work and do it right every single time regardless of how we feel in the morning what the weather conditions are like and that's why integrity is the most important part of being a firefighter. The, uh, the best options about this program is it gives them experience it gives them the ability to actually put the gear on um, actually do a lot of the maneuvers um, and realize that it's a different game once you get all the extra gear and weight on you. Um, it kind of changes the whole dynamics of the class. I think the number one thing that people um, don't really expect is the physicality of the job. Um, for the most part, um, you know, when you start adding 75 to 125 pounds worth of gear on and then having to do the work, uh, that's where the kind of things change a little bit. And once you get uh, the opportunity to do that, uh, it really is an eye-opening experience. I was kind of bored sitting around home. Um, I, I had taught a little bit last year, uh, or the year prior, I should say, and then COVID shut down. And so last year was my first real year, first full year of teaching. Um, everything was done through distant learning. So uh, the question is, is how do you teach a firefighting class over distant learning? And so I'm super excited to, to have the opportunity to actually get back into the classrooms, have kids uh, do a lot of the, uh, the maneuvers, um, a lot of the drills. Um, and so just seeing how they express themselves when they actually are able to complete a drill is pretty rewarding. I, I love that portion of the, the class. Uh, the drill that we just completed today is called the stress test. And, you know, we completely black out the room. We have loud music to kind of distract them a little bit. They have to do this maze uh, with the mask on. Of course, their mask is covered. It's totally blacked out. They can't see anything. Uh, in the uh, in the room, and uh, and so that's kind of uh, super stressful at times. Um, and then we start working, you know, a lot of the manipulative stuff, you know, with hose pulling and putting ladders up and confined space rescue and low angle rescue, uh, using all of the rope systems, um, lots of stuff like that throughout the year. So what, what we did today, um, I was really proud of a lot of my students or all of my students. That nobody. Nobody stopped in the middle of the drill. Everybody was able to complete the drill, um, which is rare. There's a lot of people who, who aren't able to do that. Um, and everything, if you think about it, what we did today is just crawling. You've been crawling since you were eight months old, right? And so everything is between the ears. And, and so that's where the mind game starts coming in because you, you're losing a lot of your senses. You know, you can't hear, you can't see, you can't feel anything because you've got the gloves on. Uh, if you're crawling in tight spaces, that kind of, kind of overwhelms a lot of students and everybody in the class um, was able to, uh, to uh, finish today. Some of these kids smell like goats, man.